respected students welcome back everyone so today's video is about the best practices in a power bi report so while working on real time power bi projects so you have to follow some of the rules which will definitely make your power bi report performance wise better success ratio everything related to the data validation everything will be smooth and everything refresh and all those things so there are few best practices while working on power bi report so let me tell you uh, let me highlight you one thing so when the project is built from the scratch so at the time of uh, see there are like for first week there are completely client meetings okay so that time you create one ppt slide and you demo that to the client see i had work on two projects those were from completely from scratch and i have uh, developed that ppt file and demo to the client and told the best practices we are going to apply practically when we are going to work on those power bi project report <coughs> so these are so there are, so there are many best practices so today we are going to discuss the top 5 best practices in a power bi project real time which we are going to implement okay so let's start with the video but if you are new on our channel make sure to subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos especially our 60% of audience are watching the video but they are not subscribing so please subscribe and follow us on social media especially instagram okay so now let's start with the video see the first point uh, is of data model okay so now let me tell you one thing that two years before i have just written one post and uh, written their line that data modeling is the heart of power bi so that has went viral and many people are writing same line on linkedin and all those things today no doubt but the key point is that data modeling is heart of power bi remember those things there are two schemas star schema and snowflake schema so see uh, in real time projects mostly we try to go with star schema if small and medium data set is there go with star schema as it has only one fact table all the numerical columns will go in one fact table and one to many relationship along with the uh, filtration all those things like dim table will uh, filter fact table and there will be only one to many cardinality only c always avoid bidirectional relationship always avoid many to many always avoid bridge tables and all those things simple data should be there completely till the granularity level less okay so star schema is best less table should be there you see if number of columns are more in table no no problem but if uh, table is dimension table is having proper primary key fact table is having foreign key make sure that dimension table rows are less than fact table only so that one to many relationship will be there if they are not proper make sure to remove from etl side whether it is power query or back end azure data bricks or sql whatever it is okay so go with star schema it's best so that is one of the best practice for data modeling okay and make sure the filtration direction everything properly in act to relationship see if you need to create in act to use then use relationship is there lookup dax is there everything is there but make sure that your data model is optimized properly and as a power bi consultant developer whatever when you when your architect is there when you create the data model always review from him him or whatever it is okay so data model review is also important you can even show to the client if he is having little bit of technical knowledge you can just ask that what is the key and all those things and make sure that your date column must be in date data type only okay so these are the some of the few best practices related to data modeling now coming to the second point ha huh? second point is optimize dax measure see always create measure rather than calculate column okay because the calculate column will increase at the schema of the table again the file size will increase but always use measures so now coming to the first point of optimizing measure is that use variables let me highlight you use variables it will literally help in loading time and everything okay if the same major let me highlight you one thing from my practical experience like on a page five tables are there and same major you have to use in all those five tables for different dimension cut then what happens if same major you are using every time loading time and all those it really impacts especially in live connection and direct query locking conflict issue will show there so optimization of dax major is very important use variables avoid filter all functions try to avoid date hierarchy is like date uh, in time intelligence function afterwards dot date is there try to avoid create separate date table mark it as date table uh, calendar dim what we say you can create that or if single 
मेजर विच यू हैव पास्ट and that was created by past 6 to 7 majors referring to past 6 to 7 majors then club that all majors into one with the help of variable create that in single major only from my personal experience i am telling i was using one major which was club or mark to 8 to 9 majors and then i've club those into one single major only in variable i was using that so it was taking 1.5 1 minute 50 seconds it came to 20 25 seconds loading time with concurrent user i am telling not single user okay so this is the power of optimization of dax major so optimization of dax major is quite important okay use majors okay so optimization of dax major is quite important coming to third point uh, of rls but let me highlight you one thing before uh, going to third point see i have launched my top mat page and more than hundreds of bookings are there and if you want one on one call with me regarding Power BI mock interviews, interview preparation tip, career guidance, PL three hundred exam, or anything else, you can book that call with. Uh, I am having four point nine rating out of five, and this uh, link is there in description. You can book my uh, call so that we can have one on one call. So now coming to the third point is of security. See, this is the most important thing. See, uh, top five domains which are there: finance, banking, insurance. See, these are really very important domain. so like annual income and uh, people's portfolio is also there so the client wants security on the report so they will give you, you the user access management sheet for rls so user access management sheet should be given properly normalized in proper structured data okay that is quite important otherwise your rls will not work let me highlight you from my personal experience so it should have id region email address these three four columns are quite important and properly in single single row it should be there and uh, you should create dynamic rls with the help of dax if switch function is there so it will help so try to tell that uh, you can apply rls on the uh, report and uh, whatever if vinayak wants uh, to show only means if you, they want that vinayak should see only germany data then vinayak will see only germany data only try to show them and here in rls show them practically to client okay create one demo report and show them practically see this was the earlier report and we have created like this rls and we have shown that this is the most important part of security because you all know that data is quite important today data is sold in billion trillion million whatever it is so they really want uh, properly uh, data security okay so you have to demo a basic report and you can show them coming to fourth point the best practices that uh, related to visualization see let me highlight you one thing uh, from my personal experience i am again telling that client is happy with the normal visual table matrix pie chart tree map some of the ai visual key influencer all those things he is really happy with that if it is required then only go for custom visual the reason i am telling because custom visuals impact performance wise okay you can check from performance optimizer some of the Uh, outdoor tools are also there, and with stopwatch also you can go and uh, click on that Power BI service link, and there also you can check the loading time. Okay, so if it is required, then only go for custom visuals. Otherwise, don't go. Again, on a single page, six to seven visuals should be there. Okay, go for page navigation rather than bookmark because on that bookmark, in the bookmark case, on that single page only uh, the visuals will be doubled. So go for page navigation rather than bookmark. Again, the slicer should be five to six slicers only. Should be there on a single page. If your filter panel, uh, pane or uh, slicer panel you have created, make sure to go with uh, five to six slicers only. Because see, or you can use apply slicers, clear slicers. That functionality is there. So in that case, you can use that. Okay, and the reason is because when you filter any data in slicer, then it sends the two queries to back it. So that two queries need to quench and all those things. So sometimes it gives issues. So these are the best practice that too many visuals should be not there on single page. No need to use uh, custom visual if it is required. Then only. Uh, then in that case again uh, you can use drill up drill down functionality is also fine in table matrix. Not an issue. I'm sorry. So these are some of the best practices related to visualization. And yes. Uh, if it is required, you can go with border and all those things. It is fine. See, I have done so much of that thing. Even conditional formatting, it will not impact that much. If it is required, you can go for that bordering, highlighting, uh, visualization change, look and feel wise. If you want to do, you can do it. But too many visuals on a single page, it will definitely, definitely, it will impact. Okay.
कमिंग टू फिफ्थ पॉइंट हाँ फिफ्थ पॉइंट इज रिलेटेड टू रिफ्रेश सो क्लाइंट ओके वॉन्ट रिफ्रेश प्रॉपरली इफ रियल टाइम डेटा और रियल टाइम अपडेट्स इफ दे वॉन्ट देन यू कैन गो फॉर लाइव कनेक्शन ऑल दो थिंग्स बट इफ नॉट रिक्वाइड एंड इफ अ सिंगल रिफ्रेश इज रिक्वाइड एंड इफ योर डेटा इज मीडियम सेट रियली गो फॉर इम्पोर्ट मोड फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग इन इम्पोर्ट मोड योर विजुअल्स विल बी लोडेड फास्टर इन पावर बी आई सर्विस द लिंक विच यू गिव टू द क्लाइंट ओके नो मैटर इफ कॉन्करेंट यूजर्स आर ऑल्सो देर फाइव टू सिक्स पीपल आर यूजिंग एट अ सिंगल टाइम then also it will load fast in 8 to 10 seconds it will not go about 20 25 seconds in import mode i can guarantee you if even if your rows are 5 to 6 million also or more than that in fact table let me tell you from my personal experience i am telling so if they don't want real time updates and uh, single or twice uh, refresh they are okay in a day really go for import mode whether your uh, data is on cloud azure data bricks or on premises sql so in case of sql on premises snowflake gateway is required for azure data bricks not it is not required just make sure do not use flat files otherwise that edit credential which is there that will be not uh, it will not work properly and it will not allow you to set up the refresh schedule refresh for cloud i am saying azure data bricks for uh, sql and snowflake you can install gateway and uh, test connection and everything you can do it so take the uh, timings from client at what time they want check with the backend team when their etl pipelines are getting refreshed and after one hour do that thing okay if client wants at 9 am okay then your schedule refresh should happen at 7 am and that etl pipeline should run everything whatever uh, their script should run, uh, run at 5 am so see if data is 5 6 million it will take 15 20 minutes but if it is failing okay at 7 am if refresh is there it is failing at 7 15 7 20 again you will have 1.5 hours to solve all those things okay and even uh, send emails to data set owner if it is refreshing and that refresh uh, email should be there in your mobile okay so that client will see particularly 9 am complete whole report even you can tell that we are having data alerts okay functionality we are having subscription so that uh, even we can send the screenshot on your mail so that properly you will be able to see so these things you can do it so these were the five practices okay data model optimization optimization of dax optimization of visual uh, refresh part and security rls part okay so if you are having any kind of doubt make sure to comment within one hour i will reply you and uh, thanks everyone for watching till end and please subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos okay and follow us on social media especially instagram